Developing news 24 hours before toll booths are history on the Mass Pike, MassDOT announces a grace period if you don't have an easy pass. But on the first weekend of electronic tolling, don't call or go online for help because the call center and the website will be down for a system upgrade. WBZ's Julie Lonchek is live in Weston tonight. And Julie, first things first, drivers now have six months to get a transponder. You will now have a six-month grace period if you still don't have one of these. The entire system is antiquated. That's why the phone lines are going down. That's why the websites are going down all this weekend. But by early next week, they will all be back online and brand new. Just like death and taxes, cashless tolls here in Massachusetts are now certain. Friday night, the gantries go live and the toll booths will soon come down. Oh, it's been a pain. Why? Yeah. Because I used to just go through the cash lane, and I think they should still have a cash lane open at least one. For many, the in person visit to the service centers for this piece of plastic has been the only viable option. It's actually easier than I might have hoped. Lines have been out the door all week in Natick. <laughs> Because many complain the Easy Pass customer service phone line gets you nowhere. We called 50 times and only connected eight times. When we did get through, you can visit our website at www.mass. We were sent to the website, which often didn't work. You know, you get information in one, one, one place and then it's something different. So it's, it's confusing right now. We're hearing the frustrations, but it's important to know that. Nothing's gone down, but this whole legacy system is also 16 years old, and the people are getting blocked out because it's so saturated. Late Thursday, MassDOT announced a six month grace period for drivers without transponders. When you get that pay by plate invoice in the mail, pay the bill, apply for a transponder, and you will be credited for the difference in price. Late fines still apply. Even if everything worked perfectly, if you're ordering it online today, you're not going to have it today. So we recognize that there's going to be a lag between go live tomorrow night and when people may receive their transponders. Fear not, you can still get one of these this weekend in person. The service centers will all be open. They will have extended hours. We're live in Weston. Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. Julie, thank you tonight.